This leopard seal pup died shortly after birth on a Dunedin beach last September. Its appearance attracted the attention of Emma Burns from the Otago Museum. Well, it's not often that uh, a pup just sort of presents itself from Antarctica on the city's uh, beach, so it was a, a, a kind of a, a quick conversation with local uh, research groups to get it scanned um, with permission for Doc and a local iwi at uh, Te Runga, Runga Otako as well. So, yeah, good, good opportunity to get it scanned and find out more information about its, um, its internal bits and pieces. Researchers are still extensively studying the pup and yesterday saw them taking a cast of its mouth. So basically it's only a day old pup so you can't see any of the teeth erupted but what will happen is the, the specimens preserved is that uh, that soft tissue will disappear so it's a really good opportunity to have a look at uh, what an animal's, this animal which is an apex predator, its mouth is like um, at birth. The plan is to use the pup's skin to create a lifelike taxidermy model for the museum. Peter Wells specialises in mounting native animals for New Zealand's museums and he was on hand to see what the leopard seal pup looks like before he is given the skin to remodel into a lifelike animal. It's in pretty good condition, yeah. There's no decay, um, yeah, dealing with all the original parts, so should be good. Leopard seal researcher Krista Hupman thinks that leopard seals could well be a species we will see more of in the future. Leopard seals are a solitary animal and you don't often see them with any other species. Um, but we do have records uh, back to the 1400s of leopard seals in Maori middens in New Zealand. Um, we do have other, one other birth record in New Zealand, so this makes the second. Um, and we have some individuals that stay here for up to five years. So it is actually something um, that we're looking into to be able to try and determine, you know, are they actually a native species of New Zealand and is it that just we haven't been recording them enough um, to be able to find out more information about them. Hupman would like the public to use a hotline to help track the presence of leopard seals around New Zealand. Leopard seal uh, sightings um, are increasing around New Zealand um, and the only way we're able to build our national database is by people letting us know. Uh, so we have a dedicated hotline which is 0800 Leopard. Um, we encourage anyone to report any leopard seal sightings to us so we can further our research. The leopard seal pup should be ready for display at the Otago Museum by the middle of this year. Rudy Adrian, The South Today.